Remote work has come a very long way. In previous years, remote work was seen as not real work. Then COVID-19 happened and, well, you know the rest. Ever since the pandemic, our understanding of the positive impacts of remote work, both for tech professionals and companies, has evolved massively. Today, an increasing number of employers are recognising that important, creative and highly technical roles can be performed from home or anywhere with just as much, if not more, productive output. So if you're looking to transition into remote work, this video could be just for you. In this video, we'll speak to some career changers who are working in tech, either in a remote setting or hybrid setup. We'll get their take on the biggest challenges and benefits of remote work, find out what they think the future of remote work looks like, and share some valuable advice if you're starting a new remote job. Let's dive right in. Hello, my name is Teresa Lofman and I am an opera singer turned web developer. I graduated the full stack web development program with Career Foundry back in the fall of 2020. And within about six months, I was offered my first position to work for a ministry here in Colorado. I am currently still employed with them. We have a team that maintains and continues to build features for five different websites. So I work with a team of about four other developers. Um, and we have business analysts and QA specialists and um, whatnot, but we work hybrid. We do um, remote four days a week and then we go in person usually one day a week to either do sprint planning or sprint retrospectives. Um, we communicate when we are remote via Slack and we use Zoom quite frequently throughout the day for meetings. I don't think it's possible for me to name one favorite thing about working remotely. <laughs> I just, I love it. I love being able to um, be home with my cats and they'll come and snuggle up on my lap while I'm coding and I love being able to cook really healthy lunches um, and take my time. I love not having to deal with traffic or um, the commute and paying for gas. And my least favorite thing I can't think of, I'm a person who really loves working independently and just being able to sit down and focus on my own. Um, I think it might be a little challenging for someone who's a, a big people person and needs that um, interaction, but personally, uh, that is not me. So I can't name one thing that I don't like about working remotely. So yeah, hi, um, I am Florian. Um, I'm a product design lead at a company called Hago. Um, and I am working fully remote or remote first uh, for I think two, a little over nearly two years now um a little more if you count uh my career foundry course which i did remote as well um and uh yeah i i embraced that setting a lot so my favorite and least favorite things about remote work always naming those so um first of all is the the aspect of flexibility and where i work and how i work um, so first of all, for me, it's heavily beneficial to be able to create my own environment, my office, um, my, having my own setting, being able to listen to music or, you know, meditate or whatever, whenever I need that. That is something that I usually didn't have in the office and I appreciate that very much. Um, at the same time, I have family um, and it's, it's really great to be able to, to be there when they need me. Um, which doesn't mean that I'm disturbed all the time. There are boundaries that you need to set, but um, if, if there's anything urgent, there's always the, you know, um, a way to make things happen. Uh, and that is that I'm, I'm very, very thankful for that. And that has increased my, both my professional and my personal life by a lot. Um, and then the other thing is that I appreciate the level of trust that my employer is giving me by, you know, letting me work on my own terms and just trusting that I get stuff done. Um, that is something that makes me feel very, very good. Um, and, you know, honest me, basically. Um, and, and that is also, you know, a huge motivation for me to, to get the stuff done as well. Um, and I really, yeah, I really appreciate that. The least favorite thing, I guess, is, um, and, and I'm still, you know, working on that every day it's like switching off sometimes it's it's really tough not to um you know check your messages or anything um and just you know go into that room and 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 see if you can do something especially if you enjoy your work as much as i do 
um, that that is always a challenge and like going from the office into the living room or maybe you're even working in your living room that is a challenge for sure but I think one that can be solved Hi, I'm Julian and I am an account manager and producer living in Berlin and we are in my home office What's okay, that? Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> my favorite and least favorite things about remote work. My favorite thing would be just being able to curate the space around me. I love having plants around. I love having artwork on the wall. Just to be able to look up at any point in the day and see beauty. To be able to go outside for a walk at any point. Uh, these are things that give me a lot of energy and small boosts of happiness throughout the day. And just having the trust to orchestrate my day in the way that I feel is best for me and that is going to maximize my energy is beautiful and something that I'm very grateful for. My least favorite thing about remote working would be the video calls and just the lack of human interaction or the reduction of human interaction. I miss my colleagues. I wish that I could just tap them on the shoulder and ask them that question rather than wait in a queue and then until they're done with all of their calls. Some days it's a lot. And while I'm grateful for the technology, I think that there's a different type of fatigue that sets in when you have video calls all day and all week, as opposed to real life meetings. I think it's uh, just a bit more challenging, but you know, we all have, have to compromise uh, somewhere. So it's not that bad in the end. Um, but yeah, I love being able to curate my space and make a beautiful environment. Uh, and I would have less video calls if I had the choice. So I am currently working as a product owner for a large multinational organization. And of course, because this video is mostly about my role, that's why we have this cool setup here. I work 99.9% .9 from home, which is quite funny because I've moved from London to Germany to spend 99% of my time working alone in this bedroom. But um, I absolutely love working remotely and I am so glad that a lot more companies are adopting this way of working. My favorite thing about working from home is definitely my commute. <laughs> my bed is over there, so it takes me roughly 0.3 seconds to go from here to here and um, begin working. Of course, that's just a joke. Um, I have my own morning routine like most people do. I really like the fact that I don't have to travel to work. Um, to be honest, where I live right now, it takes me an hour and a half by public transport to get into the office. So yeah, if it wasn't for remote working, I wouldn't be able to live so far away because three hours commute time each day is unnecessary. My least favorite thing about working remotely is probably the fact that I've kind of blurred the lines between work and home. Um, as I mentioned, I work in, I'm working out of my bedroom, which means that I often wake up quite early and by 7.30 a.m. I'm already sat at this desk. Being able to work remote has definitely impacted my professional life in multiple ways. Um, I am able to focus better because I don't have the distractions of other coworkers and things going on in the office. And I'm able to take breaks and go for a walk or clean something just to clear my mind and come back and have a fresh start. Um, personally, it's done wonders. I'm happier, less stressed out, healthier. I sleep better at night, not dreading that commute in the morning. Um, it's been a real game changer for me. Remote work has in, you know, impacted my professional life in, in a fundamental way. I'm much more productive. Why is that? So working in something that is partially a creative pursuit as a designer, I sometimes need that break and just like go out for a walk or bike ride to, you know, like gather some creative energy and gather some inspiration maybe. And in an office, I was never able to really do that. I had to unclock and it's like, you know you just don't do that but here i can just take that time and go out ride my bike come back fresh and put the stuff out and um, that has that has been very very impactful so i've been i'm a lot more productive these days than i used to be and then secondly um i also developed a, lo a better way of managing my own time um, I, I wouldn't say that I was very, very bad at it, but I was certainly a lot worse when I um, started 
my my course back then and started to work uh, remotely um, because you are responsible for that really you have to get stuff done you have to have your meetings um, as well and you need to make sure that you um, use the time that you have um, in the most effective way so that you can still maintain your work-life balance and all of that and that is a little challenge but I think um, it's heavily beneficial to learn that. Remote work has definitely impacted my professional life. On one side, it's allowed me to continue to improve my time management skills, uh, which for someone in my position is obviously very important. But it's also given me a lot of perspective. As someone part of a generation who's never lived through a world war or a pandemic, to suddenly have this global event that is causing everyone to retreat back to their homes has given me a great deal of empathy and understanding for just how the world is feeling and what uh, our, our target audiences, what our, our audiences are feeling at this specific moment in time. And so working with our different teams, strategy teams, copywriting teams, product teams, it's really helped us to understand what our users, what our audiences are feeling, what they're thinking, and how we can relate to them in a way that is sensitive and that is appropriate for this moment in time. Having that perspective uh, is incredibly, incredibly useful and being able to work from home and know that there are millions and millions and millions of people doing exactly what I'm doing um, and that we all kind of collect, connected by this global event, I think has just helped me as a, as a feeling person and has helped me as a, as a professional, definitely, for sure. I think remote working is great. As I mentioned, uh, I would have to do a three hour commute as in there and back each day, which of course I don't have to now. And um, it means that I get to live in a lovely city that I really, really enjoy compared to having to live just really close to the office in order to shorten that commute time. Um, and I think working remotely has just given me more time for myself. I'm currently learning German because I live in Germany <laughs> and um, I'm doing an intensive course which starts from 6pm till 9.15pm every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And um, yeah, if I had to work in the office, I would not be able to make it home in time to go to that lesson or even have enough time to eat after finishing whereas now i finish work at five and i'm already at home so 30 minutes eat something and then head over to my german course so yeah the best thing about it this remote working is having more time for yourself commute times were awful i personally feel that um, the future for remote work should be that everyone works remotely. <laughs> no, uh, most, I think what we learned during this pandemic is that most jobs can be done remotely and sometimes they're done even better remotely. Um, I personally feel like spending all of that money in an office space just to make sure everyone is there on time and doing their job at every second um, is kind of overkill and not necessary when your employees can do just as good of a job, if not a better job, by working from home. We have the technology now to make things easier too. We have Zoom and we have Slack and other communication channels that are so fast and so easy to set up that it's just, like I said, there's, I just can't find anything bad about working remotely. <laughs> My hopes for the future of remote work are that, especially in Germany, but worldwide as well, that more companies start to build a remote first culture or at least, um, you know, a hybrid um, first culture where, um, you know, people get to decide where they want to live, where they want to be when they work um, and basically get to do stuff on their own terms. Because again, I think that um, we are more productive um, and a lot more appreciate, feel more, a lot more appreciated this way. And um, this is something that I hope just continues. Um, we've been seeing a lot of positive um, change um, since COVID uh, and beyond COVID, which is the most important thing. Um, and that is, that is really great to see and I hope that continues. My hope for the future of remote work is that it stays I hope that people can continue to decide uh, whether they want to work at home or in an office and that employers continue to trust their employees 
um, to manage their time well, to make the right decisions, and allow them to decide for themselves how they want to organize their days. I think that it's fitting for the way the world is working at this current moment in time. I think it's an incredible privilege uh, to work from home, to be able to work from home. I'm grateful that I have the opportunity to choose, and I just hope that I can continue to make that choice uh, for myself in the future. So with remote work, I'm hoping that it's here to stay. Um, I'm liking that companies are trying a bit harder now. I think they're trying to make the office somewhere that you want to go to rather than somewhere that you have to. Um, so whether that's making it more fun, giving you more reasons to come in like free lunch on Wednesdays or whatever on a Friday. But um, for me, right now, I want to continue working remotely and I hope it's here to stay.